Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Ghost of Tsushima. In the last one, we killed Khan, and now we're going to go talk to Uncle. Should probably mark it. <laughs> Damn it. Where's he at? That's far. I'm going to get a gift first. Kinjin's blood. Tsushima's avenging demon? Gifted. Not a fan of the broken mask. Okay. Please. Anywhere close to good fast travel? Yeah, close enough. Oh, this area. I'll wait for him on the dock. We're gonna duel, are we? See the final boss? How are you playing through the mask? I guess there is a mouth hole. I thought that was... <laughs> Stupid horse. What happened to my clothes? Jin. Uncle. I wasn't sure you would come. I wanted to talk with you. If we work together, we can drive off the remaining Mongols. Start rebuilding our home. That is not your duty. The Shogun has disbanded Clan Sakai. As of today, you are no longer Samurai. Ghost it is. I sacrificed everything for my people. And I would do it again. New Samurai are coming to replace those we lost. They will occupy your land and estate. I have to say goodbye to my home. Ride with me. At least you're not, you know, super pissed. Well, maybe he is. Maybe he's just hiding it well. Get to there. You have a white horse like my Sora. <laughs> Sorry, Kage, yours will never be the same. Will you remain in Jito of Tsushima? Yes. The Shogun asked me to train his warriors to fight the Mongols. Good. They won't give up until they've conquered all of Japan. I will spend what years I have left ensuring they fail. A task I hoped we would face together. I mean, we still could. I'll just be in the shadows. You can still remarry, start a new family. Yes, I suppose I can. Looks like you could use a push. Here, let us help you. So no trouble yourselves, my lord. Nonsense. You can't do it alone. Am I technically a lord? Oh, oh, I was gonna bow. You are much too kind. The mud is sicker than it looks. That's a heavy load. Where are you headed? Jogaku. The ghost army is up there. He has an army. You didn't hear? He'll sail for the Mongol steppes with a storm at their back. Burn their homes to the ground. An impressive goal. This is everything I can offer them. I hope it helps. Then we will see you on your way. Well, it's nice to know, uh, Uncle believes in my cause even though he's not he doesn't agree of the way we do it how heavy is this cart what do you have in there thank you my lord jogaku is many miles from here keep away from the mud and the mongols i will i have no idea what he's talking about not here Me. 
You didn't, like, set this up, did you? Or, like, you didn't spread rumors about the ghosts? I don't have an army. Every day, more people flock to your cause. The Shogun is concerned. I am concerned. You have nothing to fear. When the new clans arrive, will people bow to their samurai? Or betray them in the name of the ghost? I won't let them do that. They'll listen you to me. You openly defied me, Jin. My most trusted warrior. You taught our people to disobey their leaders. What makes you think your followers will obey you? You make a good point. Okay, I'm back. I'm a samurai again. That's enough riding. Walk with me, Jin. As you wish. Where are we? Graveyard again? My family's cemetery. The resting place of seven generations of Sakai, including your mother and my father. We must pay our respects. Can I just leave? I know you're disappointed. I don't know what you want me to do. I'm the ghost now. No coming back. this so will I the shogun has declared you a traitor uncle I ordered you to kill me the ghost was an outlaw he taught our people to defy their leaders to defend themselves with poison a gift you gave to our enemy. I had to stop you from throwing away our people's lives. You have no honor. And you are a slave to it. You are my son. Now I must continue the line of Shimura without you. I must start a new family. And my head is the cost. Taking it is my punishment. You just let me go. words of clan Sakai and clan Shimura. It's hard tradition I didn't understand. Was this another haiku? No. Oh. Reflect on loss. It is a haiku. Hands that shaped the world. A bond broken forever. This is where we part. broken 
Sing forever. This is where we part. You could just run away, Jen. Parents will always be with you. Yes, Uncle. I will train you to become the strongest warrior Clan Sakai has ever known. I will raise you as my own son. Are you ready? Well, you did what you promised. I am ready. Can I read his haiku? <laughs> Just be like, fuck this kid, he destroyed everything. Are we really fighting? to hurt you. Ah, oh, fuck. What would happen if he actually won? Would that be how the game ends? I was gonna do that first. Uh oh. He didn't finish me off. What a pussy. By the wounds you dealt my spirit, you never heal. Killing me will only make them worse. I don't want to hurt you. I say as I'm slicing you up. Uh, you got me. Just kidding. Okay, now you got me. <laughs> Fuck. You turn away from me. Ugh. I agree with everything Shurima's or I don't want Shimura, to Shimura is saying, but you have to understand it. Jin worked. Can you not? Fuck you. I felt good about Ruzo and Khan. <laughs> Don't make me feel good about killing you too. You are revenge. For my failure. This is not my revenge. It is my punishment. Oh, I, I dodged that. Don't. Sorry. You better be. Let me win, Uncle. Toss the fight. Toss the fight. I never had to do that. Jump over a spearman attack. I don't want to. Ah, fuck you. I'm sorry. Why can I not be wearing any of my armor? I don't know if it's making a difference or not. He's not wearing armor. It should be super easy. It is my punishment. Why was I blocking? That would have been it.
I got really lucky that match because he was not using the unblockable attack as much. He was pretty much doing that. That was impressive. Oh. I was fucking blocking. Alright, screw this. Really? Fuck you. Fucking dodge that. Why did you turn away from me? I fucked oh. Come on. Fuck you. Come on, come on! Yes! What happened to all your blood? There it is. Is there a time? I don't think so. Kill him and honor his wish for death, or spare him to let him live and walk away. Uncle? You brought this on yourself. You could have let me go multiple times. You call me the ghost? Not calling me samurai? You basically are the reason I am the ghost. Because you didn't. You were too honorable, I'd say. Because of that, the ghost is going to walk away. What if anyway? Mono no aware. Credits. Okay. Sucker punch. I move the controller down. Sucker punch. Great fucking game. Oh my god. This game is probably in the running for my game of the year. Between this and Doom Eternal. As of for now, there's still many games coming out later this year. Oh my god, what a fucking good game. 
So here's the thing. I'm not usually one for, like, Japanese samurai movies. I don't think I really ever watch them. I watch some Jackie Chan movies, but that's because it's Jackie Chan. You're not really samurai. But, God. This makes me want to go watch so many of them. It's amazing. Usually the way I do these is everything I usually have to say I do in the ranking when I rank this game. But I'm going to give the rankings from now on a couple days. At least until like I, I'm about to edit this video because I pre-recorded a bunch today. So until I record this, I'm going to give my final thoughts. I will say for now, it is really fucking hot. Right now, I know where I'd put it, but I'm going to wait a little bit, see if I have different thoughts. I also want to do most of like the side stuff, the other tales, to see those stories. I was not expecting Uncle to do this at the end. I thought he'd let me go. I'd let him go. But I get it, all honor code. I love this story. A samurai having a... I do wish for the story they gave him like more choice whether to be samurai or ghost. But it, it it's a it's a single player linear story, so it's still great. But I felt like if you made choices that would have impacted it would have been like amazing amazingly or amazing. Over now I'm gonna let these credits roll. You wanna hang out while I babble or you can just skip to the end, see if there's anything left to do. I think this is the last PS4 exclusive until the PS5 comes out. Is that right? I think so. When they did their showcase, or whatever they call it, they had like Spider Man PS4, or Spider Man Miles Morales, and something else. Like that stuff said Holiday 2020 for PS5, so that, this might be the last one. What a good one to end on. Really hope they do DLC or sequels. This, because like now that you're set up as the ghost, I, I wish they would have like made you the ghost a lot sooner. Like once you were, once you got the ghost armor, and like you were like, I'm the ghost. Fuck honor. Fuck the code. This this con has drawn the line, and I gotta cross it. I wish they would have done that a lot sooner. But it, I, I still can't complain. <laughs> it was amazing. Really quick, I'm going to see what this uh, Metacritic. Eighty-three. Eighty-three by critics, nine point three by users. I agree with the users. I might, I'd say the users are. We're right in the realm. Game of the year 2020. Buy it, everyone. I agree with this guy. Oh, what did that say? I think it was in loving memory. Also, why I don't want to do the ranking right now is because I don't view the credits, you know? I played... 15 plus hours of this game. These people, they deserve my time to sit here. I don't read them, but <laughs> I read some of them. I really also want to go back and see the Japanese black and white uh, version. I feel like that's like the pure samurai movie playthrough. But I don't want to do Japanese, at least dialogue, because I probably would miss like half the dialogue and like don't know what's going on. Yeah, the black and white, I think it's only with Japanese. I don't think you do it with English. The one critique with this game I'll say is you can't skip cutscenes. When I had a restart a mission because my someone because of the PS4 turned off, I couldn't skip cutscenes to get back to where I was, and I just had to sit through them. Kind of wish I could have skipped. Also, I'm surprised when 
I went after, or the mission started to go after Khan, it didn't tell me, like, hey, this is it. This is the last mission. You were like, mission or two. This last mission will lead you to the end of the game. Do you want to do this now? As far as I didn't do that, I did it with the long tail, but that's because you were exiled for so certain times that you couldn't come back anyway. Why other games have Sucker Punch made? I know they made Sly Cooper. The first three? I think. They made the first three Slys, Infamous, and then this. Wow. Really? That's it? I thought they would have made a lot more, but I guess they would stick to what they know best. They made some game Rocket Robot on Wheels for the N64. That was in 99. And Sly 1 through 3, my favorite games of all time. Or my favorite game series of all time. So good on them. Then Infamous 1, 2, Festival of Blood, Second Sun, and First Light. All great games. The lowest average score game, game ranking they have was First Light. But that was also like a mini game, wasn't it? Like not a real full on game. It's kind of like a Lost Legacy kind of deal. And probably what Miles Morales will be. It's still really good. They get, they average like 80 and above. I'd say like 85 they average out. Maybe 83. I'm also surprised how fast I beat this. Today is the 26th. This game came out the 20 or the 17th. When did it come out? July 17th. That's probably the fastest I've beaten a game I've recorded. Just because it's so fucking good. And how I want to go back and replay the, the uh, side missions and stuff and want to record all of that. Hopefully put it up before this comes out. New outfit. Is it? I was going to say what's wrong with my face, but I guess it's a mask. Uh, what are you writing on there, Jin? Seal the box? Okay, you're done. What outfit is this? The twin mountains of Clan Sakai. I won't let my family fade from memory. Hope you find peace, Uncle. Oh, I took his armor. Wait, where am I? Is that the ghost armor? Yeah. Can I see what I'm wearing? It says it's the ghost, but I'm calling bullshit. Is it? Oh. Oh, Bower of Vengeance, Executioner's Penance. I like they wouldn't bear, but since it's the end of the game, I'll stick with this. My life, I dreamed of being your son. Yuna's knife, the blade's dull. Can't believe it's still in one piece. Is this like a lot longer later? How long did it take Yuna to make this? I owe her everything. The She's fuck? Giving me gifts. What is that, bug? Kenji's best. <laughs> or so he tells me. I'll have to share it soon. What are these bombs? Those look like grenades. Maybe they're smoke bombs. Taka's trial run. Before he made my grappling hook. They all look the same. Want to disappoint me? I mean, he did not. Never did. Fallen at my family cemetery. Beautiful. Even in death. Okay, where am I? Jin. I like your new home. It suits you. It will have to do. Trying to say. Now that Clan Saka is gone. And I've been branded a traitor. I heard about your uncle. Will he come for us? I don't think so. But sooner or later. Someone will. 
What matters is you're alive. You defeated Kotun Khan and left the Mongols without a leader. The mainland is safe. But our home isn't. The Khan's forces are stuck here, more desperate than ever to conquer our island. Then we'd better keep fighting. Sensei Ishikawa is still hunting his student. Probably wondering what's taking you so long to show up. <laughs> I haven't talked to him once. Tracking her family's killers. I haven't talked to her once. But she wasn't interested. She shouldn't do it alone. I'll find her. Did you talk to Norio? He said the monks still need support. I should check on Yuriko. The invasion's taken a toll on her. She's not the only one. What about you? We still have unfinished business in Ozna. We do. Just Who's Yuriko? Tsushima needs you. Was she the poison lady? Good. Yeah. We'll cover more ground if we split up. Hit the mongas from all sides. Take back her home. Goodbye, Jin. And take care of yourself. I will. You too, Yuna. I feel like there's a relationship here, but they're both like, no, we're warriors. We, we're warriors. What's up, Kaji? Liberate Tsushima present from Mo liberate Tsushima from Mongol presence. Okay. Ah, oh, so show me how the liberations now, huh? Where am I? Ah, oh, pretty close to Omi. I guess I am in Omi. Okay, so I think that's gonna do it for the Ghost of Tsushima. Oh, what is this? Let's get a good view as I sign this off. I'm trying to think. So I'm gonna go back and replay or play. Majority of the side missions. What is this? Monastery. So like uh, all the tales of like Ishikawa, Mesko, and maybe like uh, the mythic. Like maybe all the all the tales I want to do. The mythic maybe. And right here is where I'll put the ranking. So here's me in the future. Welcome to the ranking for Ghost of Tsushima. So, I am recording this the day I am editing this video, so it's been a, quite a while. And I have fully thought my thoughts on this game, so here they are. So if you don't know, I rank games based on 10 points of 5 categories of 2 points each. Those categories are design, gameplay, story, worth the money, and funness. So first up with design, the game is beautiful. The scenery is amazing, the animations are awesome. The, the island of Tsushima as a whole. If you take away the war side of everything, it's beautiful. I'm getting really Breath of the Wild vibes whenever I'm running around in Tsushima. It's just beautiful. I don't know what else to say. The graphics are amazing. The animations are good. The character models all look good. I love it when character models look like their actors. If you pull up IMDb and look at these actors, they are identical. The sounds of war, like whenever you're clashing swords or playing a flute, it's all great. So design, I'm gonna give it a two out of two. And yeah, next up, the gameplay. While it did take me a bit of a adjustment to get used to it, the gameplay is so good. The combat is amazing. Every time you fight Mongols or bandits, at the end of the game, you do feel like the ghost. Standoffs are still fun, even <laughs> at the end of the game, killing five enemies at once, or going ghost and just assassinating everyone in, in encampments. Using all your gear like kunais or smoke bombs or your bow and arrow. It's all just so good and fun. It is weird there's no lock-on mechanic, but like it's still pretty... It still works. Even traveling the island on a horse, it's just a nice relaxing time. Where you're not fighting and killing anyone. The wind to guide you to location to location. It's such a good idea because it doesn't involve a mini-map in the bottom corner. It's giving you more screen to focus on and like enjoy the world so the gameplay i'll give a two out of two and the story the story i thought was one of the best stories told in video games ever I'm not one for samurai movies i've never really watched any but the story of a samurai having to betray his honor and his code to save his island his home to stop mongols from taking it over i love it I love Jin as a character, and I feel like he can easily make his way into the PlayStation Hall of Fame 
with like Kratos, Sly Cooper, Nathan Drake, all those guys. And even like all the side characters and their stories and tales, all of them are so cool and awesome. I even remember all their names, even though it's their Japanese names. Masako, Ishikawa, Yuna, Kenji, Taka, Sora. <laughs> Ugh, even the deaths in this game actually matter. They're, they aren't like throwaway. Taka's death brings Yuna to fight with you, she gives her a cause. It makes you fight even harder. Sora's death is just heartbreaking. <laughs> Or whatever your horse's name was. Even Kota Khan, the enemy, if that's how you pronounce his name. He is amazing because he does not want to fight. He's like, give up and you can all live, but I'll be in charge and then we're going to take over. But you can all live. Just stop. And if we probably did that, it would, no one would be dead. And then Lord Shimura having to see his nephew, who he wants to be his son, straying from the path, the codes he's... He's lived by all his life and still focuses on. Ah, it's all so good. And even Kotun Khan telling Shimmer, like, Nephew, he's fucking up. He's killing people behind their backs. He's breaking the code. I love all of it. You basically get to see the legend of the ghost be born and how it grows. So many times I've been told by, like, NPCs in the game, like, I heard the ghost was like 10 feet tall and had like red eyes and like was a monster or a demon. It's like so fun watching like legends spread. So you basically saw the, the legend of the ghost. And also in between when I played this game and when I record this video, I did do most of the side stuff. I did a lot of the tales. I did Masako and Ishikawa's. I don't want to spoil them, but they are almost as good as like the main game. They're so unique stories. And they're amazing. The only thing I would have wished for more in the story was like your path actually matters whichever one you take. Whether it's the samurai or the ghost. A different outcome for the ending or like paths along the story. But even the ending where you choose to either save your uncle or kill him. Ooh, what a tough choice that was. Because you want to honor your uncle but you also he's your uncle. He's your family. And even though Sora's death was hard for me. One of the most devastating things was Jin telling Shimura he's not going to be his son and him throwing the papers away. Ugh. The one thing Shimura wanted, he couldn't have. And then he had to try and kill him. So the story, I'll give it to, obviously. And was it worth the money? $60 game? 15 a shower campaign? Probably the same amount of hours plus more doing all the side stuff collectibles oh my god it's so long but i love all of it i'm not even done playing it i probably put like f close to 50 hours maybe 40 or 50 somewhere in between there and i still got tails th stuff to do and also not really any game breaking bugs at least i couldn't see throughout this entire game there was like the one odd choice where you would fall in like an ever falling hole or like just going like a falling pose for a while but then like you immediately get kicked out or back to where you were and you can run again nothing really buggy so worth the money yes two out of two now the funness i had so much fun playing this game and still playing it i had fun learning the story of Jin, learning the story of shimura learning about the mongol invasion and watching all how it all plays out how Jim responds what his choices are. It's all so good. Even now, going, getting all the collectibles, like the Fox Dens, the Pillar of Honor, or Pillar of Honor, whatever they're called, the Shrines, all that stuff, I'm still having so much fun because I'm still finding more stuff to do. The campaign was like watching an awesome samurai movie, and now it's just like the actual video game part of it where you go do cleanup. In the fun way, the good way. So, funnest, I'll give a 2 out of 2, and that means we have a 10 out of 10 game on our hands. A perfect game, by my standings, at least. Now, there were a couple of things I wanted that weren't in there. I wish we could have had skippable cutscenes. When you're running around and you have different armors that have different abilities. Sometimes I wish it was a bit faster changing to them, like maybe like a quick selection of them. But I can't complain about any of that. that it was just too fun to play. 
some stuff I didn't talk about in any of these categories. I'm just going to ramble on about now. The collectibles are so cool. The fox dens with the little cute foxes you can pet. The pillar honors where you can get new sword kits. The haikus where you get new headbands and ride a haiku. The bamboo strikes are fun and challenging when you get to seven bamboos. The duels, even though they're challenging, they're still fun to do because it's like an actual boss fight. All right, now I'm just rambling on. I don't know what else to say. Great game. Amazing game. Awesome game. All the good adjectives. Be awesome if they made a sequel or a DLC for this even. But until then, I think that's going to do it for the Ghost of Tsushima. So thank you all for watching. Be sure to down below. Leave a like, share, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.